First belt. time ever, an object from interstellar space has been observed to visit our solar system. Ever had that feeling where the universe sends you an unexpected guest? Well, that's exactly what happened when Oumuamua, our first confirmed visitor from outside the solar system, popped by. And no, it didn't come with a welcome card, but it did leave us with a ton of cosmic curiosity. Now hold on to your space helmets, because the always enlightening astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson is here to spill the interstellar tea with some freshly declassified images. Stick around. And let's dive deep into the mysteries of this celestial wanderer with the man who never ceases to amaze. Chapter 1. What was Oumuamua? When you peer into the night sky, do you ever wonder what mysteries lie hidden beyond our vision? In 2017, the cosmos tossed a celestial puzzle piece our way that has kept scientists, including the famed astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, at the edge of their seats. Enter Oumuamua, not a spaceship from a sci-fi film, but an enigmatic object drifting through our space neighborhood. With the mighty Pan-STARRS-1 telescope as his guide, Rob Warrick stumbled upon this space drifter, making us all reevaluate our cosmic surroundings. The ensuing buzz around Oumuamua was deafening. But why all the hullabaloo? Flash to October 19th, 2017. The diligent eyes of the Haleakala Observatory in Hawaii spotted what they first thought was a regular comet or asteroid. But as they say, appearances can be deceptive. This wasn't just another space rock. It was a genuine, bona fide visitor from beyond our solar system. It wasn't just passing through, it was announcing its grand entry. Given the name Oumuamua, which translates to a messenger from afar arriving first, from the poetic Hawaiian language, this object's peculiar brightness fluctuations painted a picture of a body unlike any we've encountered before. Think of a cosmic cigar, swirling through space with a purpose. Now, when the cosmos throws us a curveball, we have our theories, right? Like, maybe, just maybe, Oumuamua got a bit too close to a star once, and the intense gravity played tug-of-war with it, giving it its elongated appearance. Sounds wild? That's the universe for you. But if that explanation makes you raise an eyebrow, you aren't alone. When scientists compared Oumuamua with asteroid 25143 Itokawa, another space potato, if you will, they found some similarities, but also striking differences, especially in their physical proportions and features. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a titan in the world of astrophysics, has decided to lift the veil. By revealing never-before-seen images of Oumuamua, he's offering us a clearer glimpse into its essence. While Oumuamua may have been a fleeting visitor, its legacy will endure as a reminder of the universe's boundless mysteries and our ceaseless pursuit to understand them. Chapter 2. Composition of Oumuamua But there's more to Oumuamua than just its speed. Studies have revealed fascinating details about its composition. It has a thick outer layer, similar to a cosmic shell, made of carbon-rich materials that solidified due to cosmic radiation during its extensive travels through interstellar space. Beneath this protective exterior, Oumuamua reveals its remarkably dense inner nature, primarily composed of rock and possibly containing elements of metal. What sets it apart is the absence of water or ice, which distinguishes it from typical comets or icy celestial bodies. Additionally, Oumuamua's surface has a reddish tint, resulting from prolonged exposure to cosmic rays over hundreds of millions of years. Scientists have also considered the possibility that Oumuamua's high speed is a consequence of its shape and composition. On the other hand, several individuals have requested for the contribution of renowned experts, such as Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, on the discussion around Oumuamua. Interestingly, Neil deGrasse Tyson refrained from commenting on the matter until substantial evidence and the recent declassified photos became available, leaving everyone eagerly anticipating his perspective on the subject. Chapter 3. Oumuamua's Remarkable Acceleration Ever witnessed a bike suddenly zoom past without anyone pedaling? That's the kind of baffling speed we're talking about when it comes to Oumuamua, our intriguing interstellar visitor. As it swooped into our solar system, it came alarmingly close to the sun, covering a mere one-fourth of the distance separating our planet from its blazing host. But that's not the most jaw-dropping part. Oumuamua didn't just take a leisurely cruise through our solar neighborhood. Instead, it blitzed through space at a staggering 196,000 miles per hour. Now, if you're trying to compare that with something earthly, know this. It's swifter than anything we humans have ever hurled into the cosmos, 
From our most advanced spacecraft to our nimblest satellites, none have achieved such breakneck speeds. So, what could be the reason behind this cosmic object's rapid pace? Some scientists believe that Oumuamua's birthplace might be a binary star system. Within such a system, the tug and pull of dual stars can literally throw objects out into space with intense velocities. Think of it as the cosmic version of a catapult. If this theory holds, then Oumuamua's speed might simply be the result of being flung out by its home stars. Yet another thought is that Oumuamua might have played cosmic pinball in its original star system, bouncing off planets and large celestial bodies. These interactions, much like a spacecraft using a planet's gravity to boost its speed during flybys, could have given Oumuamua its tremendous momentum. But then again, these are just educated guesses. The true nature of Oumuamua's haste remains one of the universe's captivating mysteries. What's your bet on this interstellar enigma? What forces might have propelled it at such mind-boggling speeds? Now it's time for today's subscriber pick, Neil deGrasse Tyson's views on the declassified images. Dive into the depths of mystery with us as we peel back the cosmic curtains on the intriguing Oumuamua. When the declassified images hit the public eye, none other than the acclaimed astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson took the helm to decode the secrets they held. A staunch advocate for evidence-driven explorations, Tyson emphasizes the need for a skeptic's lens when diving into such phenomena. But, as with all scientific pursuits, it's the tug of the unknown, the allure of a possibility that keeps the fire burning. What if Oumuamua was more than just a celestial passerby? What if it bore a message? Through Tyson's eyes, we glimpse a universe brimming with intricate mysteries, stretching far beyond our current understanding. Here's a thought. What if Oumuamua's journey to our solar realm wasn't just a random flyby? What if it was a litmus test, gauging our scientific prowess and technological maturity? By this perspective, every move we made, every observation, every analysis could have been a live feed to an advanced alien audience. It's as if the universe dropped a cosmic puzzle piece into our laps, watching to see if we'd fumble or fit it into the grand picture. But there's more. Oumuamua's unusual behavior, its strange acceleration and uncanny trajectory, pushes us to our scientific limits. Tyson nudges us to question, are we ready to stretch our minds? to tweak or even overhaul our existing frameworks when faced with the unexpected. Perhaps Oumuamua's true test wasn't just about spotting it, but understanding it. And if hidden within its cosmic DNA lies a message or signal, are we ready to grasp it and possibly respond? Now here's where things get deliciously sci-fi. What if Oumuamua wasn't just a probe? What if it was, dare we say, an ambassadorial vessel, a beacon from a distant galaxy? It sounds like the stuff of movies, but Tyson's brilliance lies in his ability to entertain all possibilities, pushing the boundaries of our imagination. Is Oumuamua a mere cosmic glitch or a purposeful interstellar herald? Dr. Tyson's musings on Oumuamua challenge not just our scientific acumen, but our philosophical depths. It's a tantalizing blend of awe, grounded skepticism, and rigorous analysis. Beyond the mechanics of celestial bodies, it makes us ponder our very place in this vast cosmic expanse. And if even a fragment of Tyson's theories crystallizes into fact, we could be on the cusp of an astronomical revelation that could redefine our role in the universe. So as we journey through these speculations, one must wonder, what other enigmas does the vastness of space hold for us? Chapter 4. Oumuamua and Aliens. Prepare to be captivated. Amidst all the celestial wonders that the universe holds, Oumuamua stands out like a beacon of mystery. Now, Hold on to your hats because some experts are throwing a cosmic curveball into the mix. They're hinting that this isn't just any random space rock. It might be a handiwork of aliens. Yes, you heard it right. There's a school of thought that suggests Oumuamua isn't just a celestial object, but a finely engineered masterpiece by a civilization far more advanced than us. Picture this, a sleek, elongated structure built to withstand the ravages of interstellar journeys, a propulsion system that can dart around space with the precision of a ballet dancer. Sounds straight out of a sci-fi blockbuster, right? But notable figures like Avi Loeb, a respected theoretical physicist and astronomer, are placing their bets on this idea. Loeb stirred the pot when he boldly suggested that Oumuamua's peculiar attributes, its unique shape, and that odd acceleration might hint at an extraterrestrial origin. However, and this is the juicy part, not everyone's on board with this interstellar theory. 
The scientific community is buzzing, with many experts leaning towards a more down-to-earth explanation. The consensus? Oumuamua might be a quirky comet or asteroid, flaunting its oddities courtesy of good old natural processes. Now, if that wasn't enough to keep you intrigued, there's more. Wesley C. Fraser and team dived deep into the puzzle, using a myriad of telescopes to examine Oumuamua's twirls, their findings. This object isn't just spinning. It's performing a celestial dance, tumbling in an erratic motion unlike anything we've seen before. It whirls around every 7.3 hours, a pace that would give most objects in our solar system a cosmic headache. But the real question remains, what do you think? Natural space wanderer or an alien messenger? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will see you in the next video.